last level of Rainbow Six Vegas. On your six. They got your Christ. You guys again. Unrealistic. Be fine, don't worry about me. What are you boys doing here? Following the terrorists. They got blueprints for your little Cold War playpen here. Shit. We were securing Dr. Williams and Dr. Smythe when the terrorists ambushed us. They got both eggheads. You gotta find them. The terrorists can't get what they know. We'll take care of that. You stay here. Trust me, I ain't budging. So you want to run across here really quick and send your guys to cover against that truck. They won't get hurt there. And then you just want to sit here and snipe everyone that comes by. Everyone that you can see. There's a guy on a, on a turret over there in that little window. You can see him shooting. He should be the first guy that you take out. Wait for him to reload. Just start firing. I know you can't really see him, but you should be able to tell where he is just from where his bullets were coming from. Just keep checking your map for guys. If you can't see anyone or you don't think anyone's around, just check your map first before you walk out. And if you stay far enough back, uh, they won't charge you when you get hit with a flashbang. I get hit with another one here in a second. Oh, maybe not. Anyway. So just move up slowly, and when you do, uh, you know, take out as many targets from that position as you can before moving in. Yeah, Now I use the MP9 here. I love this gun. It's really accurate and fires really quickly. Uh, stack your guys up against this door. I think there's three guys in this next room. So just open and clear and then shoot anyone that you see. And both my teammates are worthless so I have to take care of everyone. You don't need to stack on the store, there's no one in the next room. But you do need to stack them up here. Send them over there and then mark your targets. 
you want to take him out first, and the guy. It's hard to see, but you can you can see his feet through the door. You want you want to make him target number two, and then take out that guy yourself. That should take out all three guys in the first section, and there's a guy with a pistol around the corner. Now this next section is pretty long and pretty difficult. Um, the first part, you want to send your guys over there and put them in infiltrate mode so they don't start firing as soon as they see the guys out the window. And then you can take out a couple guys pretty quickly uh, without tipping them off as to where you are. And then as soon as they realize where you are, take off infiltrate, take off the silencers and move back outside the door. Um, this is the best place to be because because sometimes they'll get really close to you and you won't be able to avoid them if you're uh, covering against that little box that has the turret mounted on it. And if you're back here you can avoid their grenades pretty easily too. You just want to be patient here. Take out as many people as you can. take out the guys that were shooting at me. Now this guy is notorious for hiding right there so don't forget about him. He likes to hide over there by that forklift. There's usually a guy hiding there too. Now send your two teammates to that door but don't do anything with them for a while. They're going to be sitting there and just waiting for a long time. I found the easiest way to get through this next section, which is, I think, one of the hardest parts of the game. Um, the easiest way to get through it is just do it yourself. There's a lot of guys in this room, and it's very difficult to see. Um, just open one door and take everyone out one by one. Slowly inch your way around the corners, uh, scoped in, looking for anything that moves. Typically what happens when you send them in to breach and clear is they just get killed right away. And you end up having to go out of your way to revive them and then you get killed in the process. Or if you rush in there, typically they'll throw grenades at you or incendiary grenades or anything like that. And they just, they they kill you really quickly. And the easiest way to get through this is just hanging back. They kill themselves sometimes too, which is very helpful.
couple more of them kill themselves. And there's still more guys in there. Now I've never ever had them charge through that door. So if you're to the left where they can't shoot you, you're you're in the clear. And don't forget to use your thermal goggles. They help out a lot. Not so much when you're scoped in, but for close range, they, they help a lot. And I saw on the map that the only guys left were really far down. So what I'm going to do now is just use my, uh, use my teammates to draw out the enemy. And hopefully take have them take out a couple guys in the process. Now at this point it looks pretty clear, but I forget to check the left, the very left side of the map and I almost die. I get shot in the back and I pretty much deserve to die, but I don't. Um, so before you run to that door, be sure to walk along the left hall and make sure that there's no one there. I got very lucky to not have to redo this section. But if you take the necessary precautions, you shouldn't have any problems. Go, go, go. Over there. I send my Roger. teammates over there to make sure that no one else is hiding. And it's all clear. And uh, that's the end of the first video.